Hey guys, it's Kev5 here bringing you a new series. This is the first episode of Minecraft Plugin Questions, a series where I ask you to leave your questions down below about Minecraft plugins, and in the next episode I will feature you and answer your questions. Today we have a bunch of amazing questions from a lot of you that have been asked, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first question is from Andy. Do you know a free anti-cheat plugin? Right off the bat, of course, there are there are a lot of decent anti-cheat plugins out there, really. But out of all of them, the one that I recommend the most is No Cheat Plus. A lot of people complain and say it has issues, especially with slabs. And while I do agree that it does have its little nicks and knacks that no one likes, overall it's a really good plugin. I've been using it for years and it's always helped. I've been able to detect kill auras, I've been able to detect people flying. It's just overall a great plugin and I've always used it and I've always recommended it. Below in the description I will provide a few other alternative anti-cheat plugins if it no, no Cheat Plus is just not an option for you. However, I, again, I highly recommend it. It's always worked really well for me. Our next question is from Fallen Gamer. Dakota anti-cheat is going off on players that I know are not cheating even when they fly. Is there a way to fix this? Now, a lot of anti-cheat plugins will detect regular flying and will consider it cheating. In order to fix that, you'll have to give your players a bypass permission. Now, I looked up this Dakota anti-cheat plugin. It's a premium plugin. It costs 760 and considering how much goes into making a plugin, it is a fair price if you're looking for a, a plugin that you have to pay for. Uh, so if, for example, No Cheat Plus, none of the free plugins that I described in the first question, if none of those fit for you and you want a premium plugin, uh, you know, it's not a bad price. So, in order to allow your players to fly on your server while using Dakota Anti-Cheat, you're going to need to give them these three bypass permissions. Dakota.bypass.survivalfly and then it would go creative fly and then vanilla fly with that same permission. I'll have those right up on the screen so you'll be able to see what permissions you'll need to give your players. Our next question comes from Daily MC Alts. They ask, how to link shop pages together within the shop plugin that I made a tutorial on not that long ago. We're now going to show you how to link pages together using the shop plugin. You do shop page edit and in this case we're going to edit the last page I made in my tutorial video. If you want to check it out, link in the description. So this is YouTube. What you're going to want to do is set up an item in your menu. It doesn't matter where you put it. So let's go ahead and put a new item here. Uh, now we have the redstone. We're going to want to add a function to it. We're going to choose command as the function. Then we're going to hit manage commands. And now I have this right here up. This is the command you're going to need to input. So let's go ahead and put that here. You've had to have already created a second shop, by the way. I created one before I started this tutorial. It's called Catfish. So this will run the command shop open page catfish on that player that clicks it. So let's go ahead and back out now. We're going to type slash shop and that will open up the YouTube shop. And as you can see, here is the redstone. And when I click it, it opens up the new shop, which is the catfish shop that I set up. And of course, the stone doesn't do anything, but that is how you would link shops together in the same shop. I hope that kind of clears up any confusion and issues. Our next question is from Nate F. What is a good auto restart plugin for your server? Now, before we get started, I just want to say that if you're running a server with a hosting company like MC Pro Hosting or Beast Node, most servers like that do not support a start.sh script, which means that if the plugin goes and shuts down the server, it will be unable to start it back up. Uh, 
Uh, you'll likely need a home hosted server or a dedicated server if you want to guarantee that an auto restart plugin will work. So without further ado, I did get this plugin recommended to me. I've heard it's good. I haven't been able to test it out myself. This is something you're going to have to try if you have a compatible server with it. Um, but this is the plugin I recommend. I will leave a link in the description below as well if you want to check it out. Our final question for today comes from Morgan Wright. He writes, what kit PVP plugins would you recommend? Now, this is a question that's very broad. Uh, it's something that really involves like, uh, how far is your imagination? How far can you think what is kit PVP? Kit PVP can be something as simple as using the essentials plugin to create kits. I, I will leave a link in the description below if you want to look up how to create kits with essentials. That's kind of the basis for kit PVP is having a kit or a different style that you can play. Uh, so like an archer, a swordsman, um, lancer, all that good stuff. Uh, and then if your imagination is like way up there, it could be something like elves and vampires and stuff, actual races with magical abilities. Kit PvP is very broad, um, but a few plugins I'd recommend is of course Essentials. Uh, if your server, if you want to keep it to where it's PvP only, no building and stuff, you can set your server to adventure mode in the server dot properties. That will make it so players can't break blocks, they can simply PvP and stuff. Uh, so, I kind of hope you guys enjoy this video. It's something I really like being able to one on one answer questions, hopefully, help out everyone. Because anyone who has your question will be able to understand, you know, what the issue was or a good recommended plugin. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, have a great day.